Hello, very good day to you. Many of us are getting pretty fed up with the rain at the moment, and there is good news for most that there will be something a bit drier for a time this weekend. But starting off looking at Friday, and I'll brush over the day itself because this is the weekend weather forecast, but we do have low pressure to the north of the UK, and that is going to bring some tightly packed isobars, so a blustery theme and also a showery theme for many too. It's worth noting what's happening the other side of the Atlantic though. Here there is an area of low pressure which is going to push its way towards the UK as we go through the weekend and likely to bring some pretty wet weather to southern parts in particular on Sunday. I'll have more about that in a second. Going back to Friday evening and like I said a showery picture for many so if you are heading out you may need to dodge some wet spells but the showers will be easing a little bit as we go through the evening and there will be some clear skies. Under those clear skies temperatures are going to take a bit of a dip. It is going to be chillier than it has been recently with temperatures by 10 o'clock already in low single figures for many places. As we go through the night though, many areas staying largely dry. Still some showers around and some of them could be quite heavy, particularly around western coastal areas, perhaps the far north of Scotland. Greatest chance of seeing some showers here. Elsewhere though, mostly dry and there'll be some clear skies still and under these temperatures dropping further. Likely to see a touch of frost in some places. Watch out for a few icy patches if there are any wet surfaces and also some mist and fog first thing on Saturday morning. So a real change to things due to some chillier air that we have across the UK compared to earlier on in the week. As we go through Saturday itself, and like I said, there's a fair amount of dry weather for many places, especially across the northern half of the UK. Quite a good deal of sunshine here, perhaps across England and Wales, some thicker cloud for a time. This should burn back a bit, and so we will see some bright sunny skies, but just a little bit cloudier than perhaps further north, albeit there will be some cloud coming and going here and there. Still some showers around for places. This is highlighting that there'll be some showers across central southern Scotland into northern England, northern Ireland, and particularly across southern parts of England too. Elsewhere, you can't rule out a few showers Hours, but likely to stay mostly dry. And in the southwest, although we will have some showers through the morning, I am expecting the showers to ease a little bit as we go into the afternoon. Like I said, though, a chilly feel to things. Temperatures lower than they have been recently, but they're only around average for the time of year. So it's not especially cold. And in fact, we should still just about scrape into double figures towards the southwest. Later on as we go through Saturday evening and it's looking like a bit of a drier evening than Friday and it's probably not going to be quite as chilly. That being said, there will still be some clear skies around so it will turn a little bit chilly for some of us. Temperatures again dropping to low to mid single figures but perhaps not quite as cold as it will be if you're heading out on Friday. And worth noting in the southwest here some thicker cloud and perhaps some more persistent rain starting to push its way in. That's in association with that system that I highlighted highlighted at the start. So an area of low pressure making its way eastwards, most likely somewhere towards the south of the UK. Bit of uncertainty as to the timing of this rain and how far north it's going to get. Some models want to keep this area of low pressure a bit further south, in which case we wouldn't see much, if any, rain across the UK. But I think the greatest likelihood is that we'll have a fair amount of rain pushing across southern parts as we go through Sunday. The wettest area is likely to be south of the M4 corridor, but but we could see some rain pushing into more central parts of England and into Wales as well. But always remember, there's the potential that the worst of the rain, the heaviest rain, stays to the south of the UK. It does look like further north it's going to be a mostly dry picture. Perhaps the greatest chance of some sunshine will be across central western parts of Scotland. Watch out for a few showers here and there, but yeah, a drier picture than is likely further south. Also some strong winds in the south in association with that low pressure system, so it could be a pretty unsettled day. It is still going to be uh, a little chilly, temperatures staying around average for the time of year, similar to Saturday, perhaps a touch milder in the south, highs around 10 or 11 Celsius, but in the wind, the rain, it's going to feel pretty unpleasant. Looking ahead to next week, and any wet weather we see on Sunday should clear away as we go through Monday, and so we are likely then to see something a bit drier for a time, but that does bring the risk of some frost and some fog patches too. Then, further wet weather is likely as we go later in the week, from Tuesday onwards. Some of it could be a bit heavy at times, and whilst there will be some drier spells in between, we do need to watch out for some heavy bursts of rain. But temperatures staying near normal for the time of year, that being said, there will be perhaps 
something a little bit milder for a time, but always the chance of some frost and some fog forming during any quieter nights. We will keep you up to date with the full forecast as we go through the weekend and into next week, so do stay up to date. Bye-bye.